How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be building up a 2018 Giant Trans 4 in neon green. Uh, this thing is going to look pretty sweet, so let's go over and get it. If you've never been here before, my name is Rob. Uh, you are on the Rob Seymour Bikes YouTube channel, and we are going to be building a bike today. Let's go. Boxes are a little more stuck than other times, but uh, uh. now the trans platform is the platform of bike that I had for the last I don't know, like three years or so. But I ended up selling off my trans advance last year, and I might go for an anthem next year. Who knows? That is pretty crazy looking. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, so I need to get the snips and start cutting some stuff off. Then you put it in the frame. Now, probably came with a drop of post, which it did. Gonna hang it off the post because the frame is uh, quite a bright color, so. Get this in there. I normally grease this, but right now, because I'm just gonna hang it off there, I'm just gonna put it in there. In the meantime, snug it up. Just so I can hang it. All right, let's get the uh, bar into the stem here. Grab our trusty four mil. Handle burr, handle burr. All right, there we go, we got six. Make sure it's in there before you start tightening it. There's the one, drop down here. The other, up over here. There we go. And finally, the last one. There we go. All done. All right, so I'm going to get the brake on there once I get the stuff off the fork. We got the uh, brake on there, and we got the little clip on there. So I'm going to take out the axle, get the front wheel in here, and then set up the front brake. Which I always forget with these axles, you kind of have to loosen one side and then push it in. Kind of uh, flexes itself out like that, as you see. Let me push it through. Fork. If you're ever building a bike and you see one of these things, save it. It's really good for if you want to go traveling or anything and you take your wheel off, you just put that back inside of the front brake there. And then your pads won't close and you won't have to pad space them when you get to your destination. And no one wants to do maintenance on their bike when they get somewhere after having maintenance done to their bike previously. All right, through. All right, first go on this disc brake, we got it done. Two-way release. Actually, the rear's not bad, so I don't even really have to mess with that one right now. If I notice it when I'm doing the gears or something, then I'll worry about it. But for now, I'll just leave it how it sits. So we have the sealant here, and then we have the dropper post cables and stuff here. I'm not going to set that up yet because I do have it kind of sitting on the posts, and because I have it sitting on the posts, I have to take it out to get to it. So I'm going to do the sealant right now, and then we'll move on to doing the gears. Air in it here. Now, the bead was already on, so I just have to make sure that I get sealant on everything. I didn't have to pop the bead in like a new tire. Now, this one, as you saw, was already already had air in it, so I'm not gonna have to bead it 
Just gotta get the sealant in there and get it working around the seams of the tire there. All right, I don't need this much cable, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Now this bike is set up with a two by. Most people don't ride two bys anymore, but this is supposed to be more of a cross country kind of all mountain-ish style bike, so that's why it has a two by currently on it. The higher end ones don't. They go down to the one by and the one by 12. This is a two by nine. So a little bit cheaper components on this level compared to some other ones, but it is what it is. Back's almost good. Just need a little bit of a limit set. A little bit loose going up, so I gotta tighten the cable tension just a slight bit. We're all good, so all we gotta do now is set up the dropper post and this bike is done. So I'll just drop it off the stand here, get the cable, and then we're good to go. Alright guys, here we have the bike. Um, like I was saying, I just gotta do the dropper post and then we're pretty much good to go. Alright, so we got the lever here. The cable runs through here, kind of like that. Then this piece here goes onto the post. That comes all out here. But I'm probably gonna need a little bit less cable, so I'm gonna cut off, I don't know, like four or five inches probably. Then use the sharp thing in the end of here to make a wider hole. Now I'll start threading this cable up through this bicycle. Rah. All right, now that I have it off there, I'm actually gonna put it onto the lever before putting the lever onto the bike. And then I'll grease the post and everything and then we'll be good to go do those final shots. This is just not one to go through here. Why not? Well, that's a new one. You guys can see that there. But that's not, uh, it's not open. I have to drill this. This is silly. There we go. It's probably pretty warm. Eh, it's not too bad. I think I can get a cable through there now. Hopefully. Yes. Yes, we can. All right, let's go back to what we were doing here then. That was a weird thing that it wasn't completely drilled out. Stuff like that happens though. Paint, metal, whatever, it just happens. Now this has a little hole that has to go through in here. Yeah, right about there. Oh, I had it and I dropped it. Right there. Pull it. Put it back through here so it's not where you're going to be pressing against. Pull her tight. Now I don't want to pull it completely tight yet because I have to put this on there. Get some grease up in here. Get that in a little ways. Close her up. Now I can get this back up in the stand. So pull this tight now that you have it in the actual dropper post. Don't over tighten it because very small stuff like that tends to strip out quite easily. Now, before cutting this cable, because I've made the mistake in the past of cutting this cable, I'm going to make sure a dropper post and everything works. But to do that, I have to get on the bike. And to get on the bike, I need 3 mil. Alright, so we're going to tighten up this dropper post lever right here. We're going to make it so it's fairly angled up. So when you press it, it's not under the bar, but still sort of on top. Feels like it pulls quite nicely. Let's see if it pushes the post down. There we go. Decent. All right, so we gotta push these plugs in. Then we have to take the bike down and see how much it weighs, and then we're all done. I gotta check these as well. These are 5.5. I already have the torque wrench right here, so might as well just do it. There we go. Decent. Decent. Cool. Push these things in. You put the higher side in first, and then kind of squish in the other thinner side. They have a certain direction in the way they have to go in terms of front first. There you go, all good. Now onto the other side. Like I was saying, front first. And press in the back. As you guys can't see what I'm looking at anymore, but whatever. 
Good to go. Cut this. All right, let's see what this beast weighs. Thirty-one fourteen. It's not too bad. I mean, it's kind of pressing on the seat a little bit here, so it might be a little bit uh, off. But thirty-one pounds is not too bad. Yeah, for an entry level like all mountain bike, that's not too bad at thirty-one pounds. Two by nine, Dior with Comet crank, high roller Maxxis tire in the front and the rear. Two point four beast. Pretty sick bike. Yeah. All right, that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Trans 4 build. It's quite a nice bike. Like I said earlier in the video, the Trans platform is a platform that I have used in the past and quite enjoy myself. Um, I also might be going to something like that Anthem that's just back over here, even though I want that bike right there, which if you haven't seen that build video, go check it out. There's some other build videos that are in this room. If you could pick them out, like some of the bikes over there, some of the bikes over here, some of the bikes behind me, who knows? But yeah, go check that stuff out. It'll be at the end of this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. That'll be over in this corner here. Peace out, guys.